vampire can be found in the jungles of the Peruvian Andes. It's very small, has a hunchback, and doesn't fly very well. But don't brush this little vampire off just yet. Each female sandfly is equipped with its own saw blades that can open up a bloodletting channel in your skin in an instant. Terry Henkel is a tropical ecologist. He often spends all day in the forest, and his work takes him all over the world. He was called out to Peru at the last minute to help find and identify fungi on an expedition. This wasn't a tropical place he had worked before, but Terry was a jungle veteran. Uh, well, when you come back from these trips, uh, you normally have things on your skin from scratches or small sores or whatever that you learn to basically ignore because as soon as you're back in a temperate climate, things heal up and everything's okay and you carry on. Well, that was the case coming back from Peru, but I had a small sore, something that was easy to ignore on the lower part of my left leg. But after about a month of being back in my lab, I realized that this sore wasn't going away. Terry had been bitten by sand flies, which had left behind a potentially deadly calling card. The lesion on his leg was now home to thousands of tiny parasites called protozoans. And these invaders weren't content to stay in this one localized patch of Terry's body. About six weeks after I got back, after I was getting suspicious of the sore itself, I noticed a developing tightness in the inner part of my left leg. And when I would feel it with my hands up and down, I noticed lumps, kind of in regular, regular lumps coming up pretty much the length of my inner leg. In Peru, the most common form of leishmaniasis can migrate to the face and eat away the nose and mouth, eventually leaving a gaping hole. Terry knew that now he had to get medical help. Well, the doctor said, drop your trousers. I want to look at this lesion. The doctor waxed poetic about how this was the best lesion she'd seen in years. And she encouraged all the medical interns to take a good close look. A culture was taken. When the results came back, Terry was shocked to find out that he had visceral leishmaniasis. The protozoans were heading for his internal organs on a mission to devour them. He was prescribed a series of injections of a powerful drug called antimony gluconate. The treatment made me feel absolutely miserable. Could barely get out of bed in the morning, barely walk. But I could see a definite improvement in the lesion. It was beginning to dry up. Scar tissue was forming already. It was obviously having an effect. So after three weeks, finally finished off with these interminable injections. And the, 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 the lesion was well on its way to healing. Terry now has a permanent reminder of his brush with death. His encounter with blood-sucking sandflies hasn't deterred him from continuing his work outdoors. But now he covers up more when he's working in Peru. <laughs> 